Hi, I'm Amanda Beard, seven-time medalist. I get my Aquasphere gear at SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Check them out today. Welcome to the Morning Swim Show for Friday, December 2nd, 2011. I'm your host, Peter Bush, in the Fenice Monitor. Today, we'll talk to David Nolan. The Stanford freshman is living up to the hype, posting some of the fastest collegiate times in the country so far this year. David joins us right now in the Fenice Monitor from Palo Alto, California. Hey, David, welcome back to the show. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Peter? Good, thanks. Good to see you swimming fast. Thanks. Yeah, we just had our meet down there in Long Beach two weekends ago before Thanksgiving break, and we posted some fast times. I should say it's not a surprise to see you swimming fast. After all, you were the greatest high school swimmer in history, but, you know, it's a lot of pressure to take into a new environment. Did you feel that at all when you showed up at Palo Alto? Yeah, there was a little bit of pressure, but, you know, all you can do is work your tail off and hope that it pays off in the end, and so far it's been, it's been working pretty well. Did your coaches or fellow swimmers treat you any differently because of what you had done in high school? No, not at all. That's what's awesome about it. All right, I mean, so... The most I get is just, like, jokes. They, like, they talk... I know the last time we were talking, uh, you mentioned that video that went up on YouTube. I just get teased about that a lot, but other than that, everyone's, everyone's on the same level here. It's pretty awesome. Good. That's a good environment for you to succeed in. Well, you're going fast, as we mentioned. 144.6 in the 200 IM, 142 in the two back, fastest times of the year so far in college swimming. Uh, what is different about the training that you're doing there as opposed to what you did in high school? Um, well, there's two big things. One, the aerobic base that we got. We, we've been working on aerobic stuff for a lot of the years so far, and that's something that we've, we never did back at Hershey to this extent at least. We'd usually start out with drills and then work our way into more aerobic sets, but we'd still only do it a couple times a week. And here, it was just pounding out yardage for the, curse for the first like two months. And we're just starting to split off into IM or sprint groups. So, And then the other thing is that um, back in high school, it was, there was a lot of, uh, I, I wouldn't say negative attitudes from all the other swimmers, but it, it definitely wasn't coming to practice every day to get ready to kick some butt and uh, work towards the end of the season. It was just kind of like, oh, I can't wait to get through practice today. But here, it's a, you know we're all really motivated to swim fast every day and hope that it pays off later. That's probably good for you because last time we talked, you were very honest and I appreciated it about you know how sometimes motivation was tough for you and maybe your batteries were a little bit drained. You feel like you've been rejuvenated? Oh, absolutely. No, the um, the battery analogy. Wait, the, I feel like I haven't really it, the entire year. I haven't gone down at all in my motivation levels or anything. It's just every day you go into practice and you're just like, all right, let's get in here, let's do this set, let's kick it, let's, let's kick it. Uh, we're in, in awesome. Let's pause here. You just froze up, so let's uh, wait for you to unstick there. Okay, I got you. You froze up during that last question, so I'm probably going to ask that one to you again. Caitlin, is that cool with you? All right. Are you there, David? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, you were just freezing up at, all over the place during that last answer, so I'll just ask you that next question again if you don't mind. Okay. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Well, that's probably a good thing for you. I know the last time... We talked, you were very honest in saying that the battery was a little drained and you weren't quite as motivated, feeling a little bit of burnout. Do you feel like you've been rejuvenated there at Stanford? Yeah, absolutely. We haven't really gone down in motivation at all. I haven't gone down in motivation at all. I've been uh, really excited to come into practice every day and see how well I can do. And every day there's a new challenge that I'm ready to tackle. Biggest difference from uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania to Palo Alto, California? Biggest difference, um, I guess it's the people. I mean, we we there's we're in California now, so it's you have when we go into the city, there's a lot of people that are kind of they're not 
let's just say I was at Starbucks the other day and I held the door for a lady and she just looked at me and kind of looked away. <laughs> it's like, really? Are you serious? And back at home, I, I wasn't used to that. I was like, usually everyone like was just like, oh, thank you. You know, that was really nice. But I, got, I think the people is a big change. I mean, I guess weather, you could say. The weather's nice. I didn't think it would get as cold as it is right now, but it's still nicer than rain every day, and then it's going to start snowing back at home soon. So that's another big difference. It's fair to say they're a little bit more salt to the earth in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yeah. So you could swim, you, you could probably A-final in about eight different events this year. What are going to be your three? Uh, I really... I honestly don't know yet. Probably the 200 I am and the other two are just up in the air. We Whatever's best for the team. 400 I am, you think, or are you trying to shy away from that? I mean, personally, I'd like to stay away from that as long as I can. <laughs> but if that's what's going to help the team, then I'll be swimming it. Relays. Uh, you know the team better than us. You know, Do you expect to be on... All four relays, three relays. What do you think? Um, I'm not sure. We've had we've had some outstanding performances this year, and everyone's really stepping up to their A game and swimming really fast. So, you know, again, it's going to be whatever is best for the team. And uh, like, if there's a back, to, if there's a relay and then an event, and I'm supposed to swim the event, then someone else could easily take my place in the relay and us not be, like, negatively affected, you know? Cause, so whatever's best for the team. You got any big Christmas plans, David? <sighs> Just going back home. Yeah. That's it. And then coming back here for training two days after Christmas. Can't wait. <laughs> you sound so excited. <laughs> well, man, it's good to talk to you. It's great to see you swimming well, and have a great holiday season. Thanks, you too. All right, that's David Nolan joining us in the Phoenix Monitor from Stanford. And that is it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.